Let me start with sweet tempura. They have toro. Have you guys tried toro? Finally, I arrived to the Nankai Number Station. Welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokao. So in this video, I want to introduce a really good and cheap Japanese restaurant called Gakko. They have a really good food with a really good price. Anyway, so I'm at the Nankai Namba Station. This is the station that you will arrive from the Kansai Airport. So let me introduce how to get to the restaurant from this Nankai Namba Station. Let's go! After you get out from the Nankai number station, you will find the escalator in front of you. So just keep straight. You will find the Takashimaya entrance in front of you. Just ignore and keep straight. When you see Godiva chocolate store, go to right side so that you can get out from the station. Then turn right again and keep straight. You will find an intersection in front of Edion. Speaking of Edion, you can find a ramen museum inside the building. So if you love ramen, make sure check my other video. And go to the street where you see the blue sign. This is the street that you can get to Kuromon Ichiba Market if you keep straight. Kuromon Ichiba Market is a very popular seafood street in Osaka. It's a really good place to visit for travelers, but many Osaka locals like me avoiding there. If you wanna know why, please check my other video. And here we go, this is the restaurant. So this is a good and a cheap Japanese food restaurant, Ganko, which is really popular for Japanese people, but not sure for the travelers. Anyway, they still have a lunch time and I'm starving, so let's get inside. Let's eat. So I'm inside the restaurant, it's pretty easy to come over here. And here we go, they have a lunch menu. In the dinner time, they have a good food, price is a bit expensive, but if you come over here in the lunch time, it's much cheaper. So I really recommend. It's not that far from the station at all, right? For Japanese people, it's really popular. The atmosphere is nice as well, right? I love the restaurant. <laughs> So speaking of how to order this restaurant, there is a tablet next to you, this one right here. You can order all menus from this tablet. In this tablet, you can choose the menu from Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese. So let's try English menu. In the menu, you can see the food picture with the name of the set. They have many kinds of Japanese food such as sushi, tempura, udon, fried chicken, and more. The good point of this restaurant, they have a kids menu as well. Yes, it's a family-friendly restaurant. Today, I ordered sashimi tempura set meal, which is 980 Japanese yen. Yes, it's less than 10 US dollars. They also have book menu as well. Many lunch set starts from 1,000 Japanese yen, and if you want to have a fancy one, you have to pay more. Thinking about the quality, it's a good deal for sure. You know, it's really easy to order by the tablet. Yes, this restaurant, they are ready to invite the travelers from foreign country. All right, so anyway, I'm so excited to eat. Whew, I'm starving. Okay, so let's wait for the lunch. <laughs> Sweet! Look at this, it's beautiful! Even in the lunch time, this is less than 1,000 Japanese yen. Alright, so let's eat! Itadakimasu! My recommendation. First, try to eat from tempura. Tempura, it's easy to get cold. 
so it's better to eat tempura first. So let me start with shrimp tempura. I love shrimp tempura. Who doesn't like shrimp tempura, right? <laughs> Love it. Onion. I love onion tempura. It's really sweet. Next, it's a squash. Rangkong. It's a lotus root. And shiitake mushroom. My favorite. <laughs> oh, she. I love it. Still, I have more. Next, let me try tofu. You see the pink one over here? There is a ume sauce, which is a pickled plum sauce on top of the tofu. Mm, yeah, for shit. Alright, next, let's eat sashimi. Probably you can't read Japanese unless you don't study Japanese, but yes, it says show you. Let me start eating from salmon sashimi. Holy shit. And the next tuna. You know what? I love octopus sashimi. And the last one is yellow tail. All of them are fresh and yummy. Tempura and the sashimi, perfect combination. I totally forgot the miso soup because other foods are so good. So their miso soup is a bit special compared to other places. Yes, they have torolo. Have you guys tried torolo? Torolo is a grated yam, which is a really popular food in Japan. It's kind of similar to seaweed paste, but it's not as chewy as seaweed. Mm. It's pretty good. You know, if you come over here, you can try so. You let me know. And I totally forgot about their tsukemono, which is a Japanese pickle. Mm. So this is like a breakfast style, you know, the white rice, tsukemono, and miso soup. White rice, Japanese pickle, and miso soup. It's already so good. And of course, if you want, you can have a dessert as well. <sighs> Alright, so I'm so full. Let's take off. Speaking of the restaurant, it has a really nice Japanese atmosphere. So not only the food, but also you can enjoy the atmosphere. So that was so good! Can you believe it? It's only 1,000 Japanese yen. It's pretty cheap, isn't it? So this restaurant, Yanko. Not only this place, uh, there are other places as well. But from the Namba station, this is the closest place that you can visit. Thinking about the other good and cheap lunch, it's a bit expensive, but uh, this is really nice. So speaking of the Japanese good and cheap restaurants, there are many other good and cheap restaurant videos on my channels. So if you're interested in, please check more videos and please subscribe to my channels. Alright, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please check my Instagram and Twitter as well. See you in the next video. Arigato, so bye bye.